QA Ninja. What's going on everyone? It's your boy the QA Ninja here, back with another episode. What if I could tell you that you could play N64, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, PSP, PlayStation, and so much more on this beautiful little Odroid device here, the XU4. I'm going to show you how to make this all possible with this awesome Odroid XU4 image that I found on Arcade Punks. Gave you a full tutorial and a walkthrough. It's going to be a lot of fun. And these steps you can also follow if you find a RetroPie image for a Raspberry Pi. Stick around, got a good one for you. It's the QA Ninja Retro Dude. It's the QA Ninja Retro Dude. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Arcade Punks. The link will be down below. And take a look at uh, any of these images you're interested in. I'm going to show you Juicy by Elliot. Did an amazing job. This is specifically for the, X, the Odroid XU4. So you want to click on torrent and then start the download. This is a very big image, 128 gigs. Pull up uTorrent here. The download link will be below as well. And then you want to click on add torrent. Then select your image to the torrent file here. And you're going to see to the right in this window here, all the little files. You're going to need all of these files in here. So you're going to want to go ahead and click OK. Okay, and then let it go ahead and download. This is gonna take a long time to do in uh, uTorrent, depending on your connectivity. Um, can take a very long time, so grab a beer, some coffee, take a nap, do whatever you gotta do. But once it's all set, go where your downloads are, look for the folder, Juicy XU4 Elliot. Right here, this is where all your WinRAR files gonna be, so you're gonna need WinRAR for all this to make it a little easy for you. And then you can go ahead and click extract here and then after that it'll start to um, extract all these files into one single image once again this is going to take some time but once it's all set you can click and open up etcher and then search for wherever you have your image in my case it's on the desktop and then once you click on the image select where you're going to have your sd card mine is 128 gigs because you are gonna need at least that for this and then you're going to have to go ahead and click flash. It's going to say unusually large. That's okay. Click continue. And then once again, grab another beer, a coffee, take a couple naps, do whatever you got to do. Come back. This can take a couple hours depending because it's such a large image. But let me tell you, it'll be well worth it in the end. And then when it's done, it's going to look like this. So what we'll do after this, we're going to head on over, disconnect the SD card from your uh, computer and put it into your Odroid it is time all right y'all so once it's powered up you're gonna get this awesome little welcoming screen and it's time to boogie so first thing is you're gonna plug in your USB controller into the Odroid and it's gonna prompt you to configure it so you're gonna be seeing the emulation screen here and then here you go so press any hold any button for this demo I'm using the Sega Saturn USB controller actually and then follow along to whatever you need it to be and then go ahead and press each button until you get to buttons that you don't have just keep holding any button that's already been used to skip them and then at the end you'll be prompted to use a hotkey and press OK and then you're gonna be here we're back in now if you make a mistake on any button in your configuration you can always just press start on the controller go back to configure input hit yes and then go back to uh, reconfiguring your controller if you made a mistake or something but let's take a look at what we've got here again all killer no filler Dreamcast PSP Genesis N64 Sega Naomi a Thomas wave we're talking everything that you need it's a beautiful image. So let's start with Dreamcast. Odroid handles Dreamcast so wonderfully. S graphics are smooth, no frame skipping. Most games are fairly compatible. Um, this image has all the BIOSes already configured. So you're good to go on this. And again, this image is, you can edit it. So if you wanted to add some Dreamcast games or remove some Dreamcast games or whatever games, you can definitely do that. 
you got some uh, Sega Genesis here so uh, a full ROM dump of Sega Genesis N64 N64 also runs very smoothly on the old droid uh, most games are pretty compatible you got Killer Instinct Gold on this image it's just awesome Elliot did a, an amazing job with this skip on to some PSP most games are pretty compatible very little lag you got some burnout here for you Daxter works pretty darn well uh, let's see what else Sega Rally Soul Calibur runs beautifully graphics are super duper smooth you got Tekken 6 so it's like I said it's a really great image um, for even PSP um, PSP minis which we're not gonna look at I may actually be removing that PlayStation which is pretty good again you can edit remove games add games however which way you want to do it um, it's pretty great actually and then of course Sega Saturn my main reason for getting the old droid if you saw my previous video of my Sega Saturn mini that I built I will have the link below for that if you're interested on the project very easy to do old droid handles Sega Saturn wonderfully most games are compatible for the most part uh, great stuff so a little bit of everything on here Panzer Dragoon of course Road Rash all right so we can uh, get out of this and we'll take a look at some other systems the Sega Saturn great Sega 32X runs great Virtue Fighter some Sega CD games and what's nice about this image I can show you as like I said that you can edit it it's got the bezels that you can remove if you want to remove the background music or add background music and then you would go to file manager to go ahead and uh, make the changes or add the ROMs and again in my previous video I can show you how to go about doing that link below and I'll show you um, a little bit of everything on that but if you have any questions or anything feel free to reach out to me again it's a great image I highly recommend it compatible with many ROMs at the fully loaded thanks to Elliot and I hope this was very helpful if you have any questions leave a comment below thanks